Nimble Tutorial for Beginners. Hi guys, this is Speak About Digital and welcome to this video on how to use Nimble. Nimble is a project management tool designed for small businesses and teams. It helps you track and organize your tasks, deadlines, team members, and more all in one place. With Nimble, you can easily collaborate with your team, stay on top of your projects and tasks, and ultimately increase productivity. In this tutorial, we will cover the basics of using Nimble. We will show you how to create an account and give an overview of the features and functionalities. Additionally, we will demonstrate how to add new contacts and integrate Nimble with other platforms. We have a lot to cover in this video, so let's get started with the tutorial. To begin using Nimble, the first step is to create an account. You will find the link down below in the description. So go to the description of this video and click on the first link you find there. This will take you to the correct home page. Once you're on the home page, click on the Try for Free button located at the top right corner of your screen. A sidebar pop-up will appear asking you to enter your email address. After entering your email, click on the Try Nimble Free button. Now, you'll be redirected to your Nimble account dashboard. Before you can access the dashboard, you will be asked for some additional information, such as your first name, last name, and password for the account. After filling out these fields, make sure to click on the Save button to secure the information. Now, you can access and explore the Nimble dashboard. The Nimble dashboard, being the central hub for all your Nimble activities, is strategically designed to streamline your project management processes. On the dashboard, you will find a left menu with several main tabs, each serving a specific function. The onboarding tab provides an overview of your new leads, attempting contacts, and qualified leads. This feature helps you understand your pipeline and stay on top of your leads. The Today tab presents a summary of your revenue, contacts, and tasks for the day. This tab serves as a snapshot of your daily productivity and progress. Your Contacts section houses all your contacts, people, companies, and those marked as important and recently viewed. This organized system makes it easy to track and manage your relationships. The Workflows tab allows you to effortlessly manage and streamline your processes. With this feature, you can ensure that tasks are executed with precision, making your work more effective and efficient. From assigning responsibilities to tracking progress, the Workflows tab provides a comprehensive solution for optimizing your workflow management. The Messages is where all your team communication takes place. It serves as a central location for team interaction and collaboration. The Activities tab is a handy feature that diligently keeps track of all your ongoing tasks, providing a comprehensive overview of your project's progress. With this information at your fingertips, you can effortlessly stay organized and ensure that every aspect of your project is moving forward smoothly. The Deals tab highlights your active deals, providing a clear picture of potential revenue and business growth. The Reports tab offers advanced analytics on your project status, helping you make informed decisions. The Web Forms tab empowers you to create and manage custom forms for your website. These forms serve as a direct channel for effective communication with your audience, allowing you to gather valuable information and connect with them in a meaningful way. By utilizing this feature, you can effortlessly collect user data, feedback, and inquiries, enabling you to better understand your audience and tailor your website to their needs. Lastly, the Settings tab provides you with a comprehensive range of options to manage various aspects of your account. From account details and billing to user management, privacy settings, and notifications, you have full control over every aspect of your experience. Additionally, you can customize your email settings, configure deals, pipelines, and workflows, track activities, and seamlessly integrate with other applications and services. Understanding the functionalities of each tab on the Nimble dashboard empowers you to utilize the full potential of this platform, enhancing your team's collaboration and productivity. Now, let's see how to add a contact in Nimble. In Nimble, adding a contact is a vital part of the process as it allows for more efficient communication, organization, and management of your business contacts. To add a new contact in Nimble, you need to navigate to the Contacts tab found on the left menu. After clicking this option, you will be directed to the contact page that displays your existing contacts. You can add a new contact by clicking on the Add Person button situated at the top left side of the page. A pop-up appears on the screen with different fields for you to fill out. These fields include the contact's first and last name, employment information such as company and title, and contact information like email and phone number. There's an option to upload a photo for each contact as well, giving you a visual identifier for each individual. 
By clicking on the Add Value button, you can add additional details to these fields for a more comprehensive contact profile. Another interesting feature is the ability to add the contact to a specific workflow by clicking on the Add to Workflow button. This feature helps you organize and manage your contacts according to their roles or positions in the business process. Once you have filled in all the necessary information, click on the Save button to store the contact's details. If you wish to continue editing, you can click on the Continue Editing button, which will take you to the specific contact page to add any further details. These may include Skype ID, address, URL, description, lead detail, and social media accounts such as Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, TikTok, and more. Once you're satisfied with the information you've added, click on the Save button again to finalize the contact. Next, let's see how to integrate Nimble with other platforms. To enhance the functionality and efficiency of Nimble, the platform provides integration options with other software and applications. This integration process not only amplifies the capabilities of Nimble, but also allows for a seamless workflow between different platforms, ensuring you get the most out of your project management tools. To integrate Nimble with other platforms, the process is relatively straightforward. You need to navigate to the Settings tab found at the bottom of the left menu on your Nimble dashboard. Clicking on this will take you to the Settings page, where you'll find a myriad of options to customize your Nimble account. Within the Settings page, click on the Integrations option. This will redirect you to the Integrations page, where you're presented with a list of various platforms available for integration with Nimble. Integrating a new platform with Nimble is as simple as clicking the Enable button next to each integration. After selecting Enable, you'll be prompted to provide additional information to complete the integration process. Each platform will require different information, so you'll need to follow the on-screen prompts. For instance, if you wish to integrate MailChimp with Nimble, you'd locate MailChimp on the Integrations page and click on the Enable button next to it. You'll then be asked for your MailChimp API key, which you'll need to input in the designated field. After providing the API key, click on the Enable button again to finalize the integration. Once completed, MailChimp will be integrated with your Nimble account, allowing you to leverage the benefits of both platforms in one place. And there you have it, a beginner's guide to using Nimble. If you want to try it out for yourself, you can sign up using the first link in the description. I would really appreciate that, thank you. I hope you found it useful and learned something new. So again, if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up, and if you have any questions at all, please comment below. I try to answer all the comments the best I can. Thanks for watching, and take care.